How to mask a text with an image in Flutter. Let's get started with a simple image that you see here on the right side. And secondly, we also have a text. And now we want to combine both our image and our text into a separate mask image widget. Whereas we have here two properties, the image and secondly, the child, which is our text widget. And finally, we want to create this mask image widget here below. And we get then first of all the image and the child. And inside the build method, we display then the child, which is in this case then here this text widget. Next, we wrap our child, our text widget inside of a future builder. And here inside, we load then first of all this image from our image provider. Therefore, we create a new method load image. And now we convert our image provider to this UI image. Therefore, you also need to make sure that you have here at the top this UI imported. And finally, we go here back down and resolve our image. So basically, you add here a listener and with the help of the listener, you get here access to this info object. And with the help of the info object, we get then our resolved image. And lastly, we create then a completer to get our image here outside of this listener. Therefore, we simply wait until this year is completed. And with this, we have loaded our image successfully. Therefore, we can go back to our build method. And here, in case our image is loaded, then we want to display our child. Otherwise, we want to display a container. And the last step is to simply mask then this text with our loaded image. Therefore, I put here a shader mask around. And inside of this shader callback, you can then create an image shader where you put then the loaded image inside. Next to it, the image shader requires also three more properties. And lastly, to make this work, you also need to define here a blend mode. And with this, you see that we have successfully masked our text. You could also use here a different blend mode. As a result, the background image and also the text are separated. And with this, you can see how the image will be applied to the text. And of course, we can also change here the image. Right now, we are loading this background image from the internet. However, you can also load it simply from your assets folder. As a result, we have now a different background image and you can also set here your blend mode again to source so that the image will be integrated into the text. How to mask images or widgets in Flutter by creating a custom image layer with some transparency. After this, you can apply any widgets or images to this mask. Let's start by creating a mask layer. Click here at the top on download. Export it as transparent PNG and then download it. Next, drag and drop all of these mask images to your assets folder in your Flutter project. And finally, go to your pubspec.yaml file. Here inside, load this assets folder. Also, go to your dependencies and here you add then the widget mask package. Within your build method, you can create the widget mask from this package. Inside the child property, you put then the mask inside that you have saved before inside of your assets folder. And lastly, inside the mask property, you put then any image or widget inside that should be displayed inside of this mask. As a result, we have this image inside of our custom shaped mask. You also can change here the mask in case you have set multiple mask inside of your assets folder. Or you can also put here any other widget inside. So in this case, we put the Flutter logo inside and you see that our image is now applied to our Flutter logo here on the right side. And the same works obviously also with other widgets. So for example, a text widget and you see that our image is now applied to this text widget. Maybe you want to position this image differently inside of your image mask. Therefore, we go to the image that is displayed in our mask. And here we set the alignment, for example, to top center. And with this, our image will be aligned to the top center. So we display the top part of our image. Or you can also choose here other alignments, for example, bottom center. Then the bottom part of the image is displayed. However, here in this case, the top center is pretty good. Next, we want to change the size of this image mask and therefore you need to be careful. So the best way is to put it here directly inside of the child property. And here I define, for example, the width. And it is important in case you change here the width inside of your list view, then you also need to wrap around your widget mask, a center widget, so that it has an effect. And now you can easily change here the width of your image 
and this will be then here updated in our app. And finally, I have changed the background color of the scaffold and we can also wrap here our widget mask inside of a container and give it a different color so that you see here exactly the boundaries of our image. And like you can see, it takes then the boundaries of the mask widget.